Right, let me do a little, little, little sneaky YouTube intro. <clears throat> <laughs> floppy wieners, floppy wieners, floppy wieners, floppy wieners, floppy wieners. Hello everyone, welcome to Hammer's Place, Game of Thrones. A Telltale series, episode 5, A Nest of Vipers. Or as I like to call it, A Nest of Plebs. Join me on this adventure, hmm? Let's, uh, let's not review our choices. Ooh. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win. Or you D. Cersei Lannister, Peggy Dothy. Let's begin. Spoilers. Previously on Game of Thrones. Thanks, Danny. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. You think you got a reason for the wildling? No, oh, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. My friend. Don't move. Little Grill, what are you doing? This is my sister, Sylvie. She looks a bit weird. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Mm. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. <clears throat> Can I get to the door? <clears throat> Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Oh, that's right. That's how it ended. And yes, Gaben will help me. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, mm. wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. Let's not answer she it. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. You didn't tell me he lost his tongue at the twins along with the rest of his bits. I'd say he's in favor of it. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Um, let's just leave the sword because I I have a feeling I don't have a chance with. Very well. Um, I have a no, no chance against him anyway. So that was easy. There. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh. Did I just make a horrible mistake? You're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Do what he says. You don't want to challenge this motherfucker. Shut up, Seagull. Oh, this is gonna end so badly. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> I need to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? Uh -oh. I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. 
And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. He will remember that. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Most kind. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. Uh-oh. Someone's I'm being played. I'm not sure how you manage that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. I knew I couldn't trust the White Hills. So I asked the Glenmores to keep the peace. You don't need the Glenmores. You have the protection of the Warden of the North. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Uh-oh. Thank you for being so forthcoming. Hmm. Hello, but Dingo. But there's still a price. There's always ah. a price to play. Pay? Here we pay. are. <laughs> Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! Plus. You didn't think it would be you. Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. God damn it! <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Talia, please! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Uh -oh. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> Ramsey, you son of a bitch. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. Yeah, it did actually. I didn't kill him. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh dear. Uh... You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. Falcon punched me. God damn it. All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. I don't have my sword. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Come on, Foxy. Roderick. He's not gonna. Your be little cut. brother had bigger balls than you. He's part of the show. He's I came here no to point. kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Mmm. No. Can't leave a job half Delicious. finished. No. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Well, that was super bad. Oh dear. A game of game of Coopers, game of Coopers. Now I will be copyrighted. Yep.
That's right, Dingo, it was an inside germ. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Uh, it's not much you can do in that situation, is there? When Ramsey um, fucks with you. You can't really um, go against him, because it's gonna be ten times worse. I wonder, though. Oh god. Is this too loud? Can you actually hear me behind the, um, the music? Just gonna turn it down. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Game of Game and this took place. Oh, you can hear me. That's fine. Okay. I was worried the audio is a bit high. Episode five: A Nest of Goobers. Ram. Rip in pepperoni, Arthur. He looked very swaggyful. Yes, Raging Hamster, exactly. He's got plot armor, so. There's no, like, cutting his throat wouldn't have done anything. Have you seen better days? This is gonna be fun to tell to, uh. Roderick's future wife. Let's look at the rack. Yeah, let's, let's crouch over there. Almost there. Yeah. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. I'm sure they will. Nice thing, though. Keep the puns coming. I like them. I like them a lot. Innocent mm. blood shed on forester land. Let me taste it. What would father think? Mm. No, it tastes like feces. Let's go over here. Who is this? What's going on? I knew this man once. His name was Arthur. King of the Andals in the first Arthur. Moment. Fucking motorcycle, shut up. I hope you can't hear it in the background. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Arthur. You little pleb. Oh dear. After all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Mm-hmm. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! Don't the worry, Sir Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royal. We will win. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? Rip in pepperoni. This is not gonna be fun. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... He's going for a ride, Elena. <gasps> it's all good. No. No. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was, he was the my little one. brother. Little bro. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now to die. Like this. She wants vengeance. Tortured. He died bravely. Mutilated. Fuck no. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. <gasps> if we hadn't been your allies. Ooh. Oh, she's burying the dagger deeper. 
I'm sorry. You got Shrek, Roderick. Let's get you someplace, Bob. I don't want to be in the How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Pain fades in time. Never fully. But enough. Deep. I don't want it to fade. Like the dagger in his cup. I don't want to forget him. You won't. How could you? You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. Is he being friend zoned by his sleep. fucking wife? What is this? I'm not sure I'll be able to. You're not alone. I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Oh yeah, she's gonna face through his tunic. Oh uh, yeah. Sex, sex Elena. After that traumatic, traumatic experience. <laughs> Fucking hell. I like these puns. They're amazing. Keep them coming, Dingo. <laughs> ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. Fucking Sarah. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. We need to hijack those ships and get them to Asher. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Nah, eh, you know, Marjorie whatever. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. I'm sure you gave him good reason. Just as you do everyone, Marjorie included. Ripperoni, this is not going to be good. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. <gasps> what? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. I'm being unfriend zoned. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything. Oh, let's be silent. Silent treatment. Let's do it like a woman. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Goodbye, Sarah. I never liked you anyway. Piece of shit. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well... I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Yeah, but you won't, little shit. Uh oh. Marjorie. I better go before she sees me. She already You're a forester. You're under arrest for, uh, uh but burgling. <laughs> Can I help you? You need to come with me. Uh oh. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Doesn't sound like he's arresting her. It sounds like he's being like, I have someone who needs to speak with you. Mother's like, what the fuck? Bitch got new friends. Yay, Asher. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But... It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. Bro team! This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're back! Malcolm, who? Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. Uh oh, something's gonna happen. You did as you were told. Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Oh, Malcolm, he's he's pulled his moves on her. 
Your Grace. My nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Well, kind of. Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? Ooh. Ooh. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Oh, oh. Do you know anything about it? Killing the guy. Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit <laughs> it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And please, yet, Daenerys, please. you come please. to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. The man was a fucking master. He deserved to that die. That was not for you to decide. Oh, no. Not only did you disobey my orders, you are insolent and deceitful. Rip. This is not good. I'm not going to betray Beskar. You disappoint me, Forrester. God damn it. I need those I will sons. not be giving you my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your grace, we risked our lives for you. And you risked them again with your tongue. Daenerys. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. God damn now it. get out. I'm terribly Fine. sorry, your grace. Piece of crap, queen. You have queen. nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. What? Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. The hell? Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. What has he been doing with Daenerys? She's all goody goody with uh, Malcolm. You seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills. Fun for the whole family. As long family. as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Mm, of course. Don't get yourselves killed. Use that silver tongue of yours, Malcolm. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Wait, did that guy have a, did that guy on the right have a hammer sticking out of his torso? That was weird. I'm gonna have to check that later. So we're up in the north now, beyond the wall, with um, Garen Total. Thanks, bro. Thanks for wood. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. Ooh, he's a badass. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? Is he gonna die? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. 
We cross the bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. Mance the Raider? That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't Cotter. go south. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? Oh, what does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fish Face here. Fish Face? What the fuck are you talking about, Sylvie. you little white walker Don't piece Sylvie of me. shit? Don't I want to hear it from him. Wildlings. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. A uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... She's gonna ask, what did you do hand. with them? Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me and the Cotter. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. We are both. Finn, bots. will you just piss off? Some leader you turned out to be. Finn, why you gotta be like this, bro? You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting more than onions to eat. What are you saying about my onions? I won't go far. Huh? I killed a woman for those onions. Oh, they don't were be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Oh, I'm sure um, Garrett is thinking about it, Dingo. Um... Then convince her to go with us. I can see Your it in her eyes. Well, maybe she's right. She's probably maybe too young. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. I still need to go north. North of the... North of the north. I need to go north. Milk of the cotter, please help me. Garrett. Garrett. Why did you lie? You don't look like her. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. You abandoning me, bruh? So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrod. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. Why were people afraid of Sylvie? Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Well, I think that should be the slogan of Game of Thrones. People are assholes. <laughs> That's like the entire world. What happened to your village? What happened to your village? Oh. Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. 
I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Hmm. Where's your mother now? Where's your mother I? now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She hey, tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. Hmm. I left that night when I heard. Interesting. How's, How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Is that your uh, medical opinion? Milk up the cut, eh? Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'll have to um, settle this later with you, Mr. Cartier. I got my eye on you. Yeah. You fucking what? What a piece of shit. You want some of me? Alright. Oh, you can walk quickly. Alright, let's speed ahead. Let's talk to Mr. Finn. Come on, Finn, bro. Don't leave me behind. You're my what are you friend. doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm well, sorry for getting you into this mess. Can't argue with really. that. Not your fault. Yay. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. That was easy convincing him. See, Finn is still my bro. He's my bro till the end of days. All right. Look at Sylvie's hut. Uh, what's in here? Let's go through her personal belongings. Wonder if her mother gave her that. Is that bear doing the thriller? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hmm. She's got some crude spears. Oh yeah. Oh, is that booze? <gasps> Drink. Milk of the poppy. Drink the milk. Mm. Oh, well, it's not so bad. What if that was her piss or something? You never know with these fucking wildlings. <laughs> okay. Ooh, she's an artiste. Little Moon. He's doing a thriller too. That bear. He's got a very scruffy neck. Right, is that it? Seriously? Am I gonna turn around and she's gonna be here behind me? Let's take another drink. Oh, nope. This is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Milk of the Cotter. I knew it. I knew it existed. I just needed time to prove it. All right. Let's um see if. Oh shit! That fucking scared me. <laughs> fucking rabbit. Whoa. Whoa. Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Sorry, bro. Rabbit's running away now. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Ooh. Let's go hunting. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the Ooh. white walkers, of course. I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Here it comes. You know something I don't think of? Don't frighten our dinner away. I'm gonna destroy that Shit. rabbit. My turn. It's my turn. Oh, really? You even know how to use that thing? Oh, I need. I know how to use You're it. Not gonna fine. shoot me in the leg, are you? I never miss. I never miss. Your leg. <laughs> and then I shoot him like. Oh shit! This is bad. Click and hold to draw. Release fire. Uh. Yeah. Well, you're right so far. No scope. You'll do nicely, little one. Will that be enough? <laughs> You've ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. 
I'm not sure if I do smell the sexual tension, Dingo, because I'm not sure what age she is. And <laughs> then, then again, you never know. In Game of Thrones, it's all... I mean, they don't seem to care. Oh my god, are you serious? It's fucking... Oh shit, I all tabbed Oh crap! Oh Jesus, that rabbit's gonna get away! Shit! Uh, hold on, hold on. My mouse is like, screwing up. It's going all over the place. Hold on, okay. Okay, let's do it. Oh, rabbit shit! I missed the rabbit! Are you Fuck. nervous? Maybe next time, Garrett. Oh man. It's not much, but it'll last us. Cooked up with some of those onions you've got. We might even enjoy it. Fucking game broke on me. You're not this half unfair. bad with a bow. Could come in handy. <sighs> Damn it, I wanted to impress her more. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Yeah, that rabbit. I fucking Someone lost you really it. Cared about. Yeah, I cared about Someone that rabbit. You thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Yeah, the rabbit would have been very you know good with onions. Like. Yeah, delicious. I lost the rabbit. Where's the option? Ah, uh, whatever. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father, and then the rabbit. I can't so live you know without. How it feels. I see it in my dreams. Carter and I, we lost everything too, and we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real. So it is real then. I didn't say that. But it might be. <laughs> A but few maybe. years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Rip. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! I am Garrett. Shit's going down in Milk of the Cutter. Cutter! Milk of the Cutter, what's going on? Oh shit. The fuck! Look out! It's a white. Oh shit. Shit's going down now. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out, day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's I not going this. to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. You speak their language. We didn't part on the best of terms. Wonderful. I know. The hell is going on in here? It's like a, a pile of bodies. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. True that, true that. Look at the blood. Mm. Tastes like poo. Who's that guy? Hey! Can you hear me? What's going on, man? Who are you? What? what? Holy sh... What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Well, that just happened. Look at bodies. Hello, bodies. The servants and guards of this house. They killed them all. Why? Some of these must have been slaves, too. Because they felt like it. Well, That's a good enough reason for this lot.
Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Looks like they got ahead of themselves. <coughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Hello, nunchucks. Hello, potato. How you doing? And this guy's seen better days. Sup? Uh, you okay, man? Oh, I think he's dead, actually. This guy's definitely dead. He lost his head over it. <laughs> Hello, Toxodon. How are you doing? I'm just playing some Game of Thrones, episode 5. Oh, jeebus, who's that? Oh, uh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. I'll or take fear. the lead, babe. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Holy shit, that's a big guy. Well, if it isn't Beskar, the fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came before I decide to eat you. He looks I'll the same height as me from the that angle. Fucking juicy when they pop. You sure you have room for me? You seem pretty well fed already. <laughs> My master only ever fed me when I won. I won a lot. He's won. Now, oh, you the got time. to the count of three. To turn around and walk away. Ooh. One. Headbutt him. Floppy wieners, 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 floppy wieners.